got uh, Nate here, the Steve, and we got Nate back uh, back again. We're gonna we're gonna he's gonna fire up a batch of our uh, sour his sourdough biscuits, right? Yep. So you had this uh, you had this going all night. You got Will on the camera. Hey Will, say hey Will. What's up, guys? <laughs> so we're really excited. Got all the Ritter kids together in one house, minus uh, Morgan. Morgan's on her way. Uh, she'll be up here on what Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. So and Nate, you head back. Uh, Thursday, Thursday. Yeah. So, trading one for for Morgan. So, yeah. um, so uh, what, what are you making for us? So these are going to be uh, sourdough biscuits. Uh, it's not like true sourdough. They they're not rising overnight, but this will be a quick uh, quick rise sourdough if you want to wait. Whip them this up is it right here, so, right? So yeah. this is the the mix. So all the ingredients are down below. You can look down below and for directions and all too. And uh, so Nate's making us up some sourdough biscuits this morning. So sounds good. All right. Now, so the, I, uh, the cool thing, so this is kind of, you kind of start watching what Cowboy Kent Rollins, is that kind of where you got this this from? Yeah, yeah. I've been watching a lot of his videos, um, you know, before even YouTube, I was watching him on the, the Cooking Network and uh, love what he does and uh, everything he makes is delicious. So, uh, including these biscuits. So. Uh, I've been taking the sourdough and I've been doing a lot with it and uh, it's pretty fun, you know, just keeping it going and uh, Yeah, so you get like a like a uh, uh, Ceramic jar yeah, or something like a crock or a jar and, keep it going and, and just keep, keep feeding it, it right? Yep. And then you use this instead of using milk or something like that, right? That yep. was the whole idea of the milk, buttermilk. This will keep on the trail um, you know, as long as you just keep it warm, that yeast will keep going and you keep feeding it with the, uh, with flour and water. Years, right? So, I mean, some people, you'll find families that on the internet that have had their sourdough starters going for 30, 40 years. Yeah. Um, there's actually a really cool website that there's a sourdough starter from the Oregon Trail. They've been keeping it going all the way back since then. And it's like a historical, uh, baking group that you can actually mail in and they'll send you a free, uh, sample. Really? It was used on this. Oregon Trail. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Sounds good. Well, look, I'm hungry now. I can't wait. I feel like I'm on an Oregon Trail right now. Starting. Yeah. Well, you can we'll get started. It. Okay, yeah. let's get started. What, so, what are we doing? First thing you're going to be doing is taking your sourdough starter and basically getting that going and getting that yeast active. So, um, this sat overnight, right? This sat overnight. Again, this is like a quick set sourdough uh, from kind of hit uh, the Kent Rollins page. We'll, we'll link the, the ingredients down below uh, and show you how to make that sourdough starter. But this only takes one night to do, and the longer you keep it going, the more sour it's gonna get. So we're gonna take that. There's actually a little bit in there. So it's kind of more doughy than, than liquid. I, I've made sourdough before sap the starter, and it was a lot more liquid, which I guess if you left this over, it would be liquid, right? Yeah, it, once you start feeding it, keeping it going, um, it's eventually, you can get the consistency down a little more liquidy, but this is definitely uh, pretty active right now. It's been sitting close to the oven, so. Mm. So that's what, two cups? That's two cups now. We're gonna put a third, and we're actually gonna do. How about, we're, 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 we're making, we gotta make biscuits for everybody, right? Yeah, well, I'm gonna be doing not quite a double batch. I don't think we got enough starter for a double batch, but we'll be, uh, we'll be making a little bit more. And these are pretty Slow easy to make. Get that stuff out too. Yeah. Okay, so that was it out a little. It's not quite liquidy. It's a little more doughy. So we got going on uh, bacon. Looks like bacon cooking too. Yep. Miss bacon. Yeah. You can never have too much bacon in your life. Uh, that's good. You still get it over there. True. That's true. You got to hunt for it though. Yeah. And it's a problem when you're a little bit lazy like I am. Just a little more expensive. See if we get one more cup out of this. Now, what do you got? So you got, now there's some lumps in here. What are these? So those are the potatoes. Uh, again, with that quick set sourdough starter, those potatoes help feed, those starches in the potato help feed the yeast in there and really help give that sour flavor right from the start. Again, once, once you get it going, once you keep feeding it, I like to take those potatoes out after a couple days and then you can just feed it regularly and just again those natural yeast will keep working its way in there and eventually it's just going to 
be sour on its own without those potatoes. That's but pretty cool sourdough. So when you say feed it, you mean just you put like a cup of flour in every couple of days and Yeah, actually uh, when we're when we're done with this, we'll show you how to refeed your starter as well too. Basically whatever you take out, you're gonna cut in half and replace it half flour, half water, and that's literally it. Alright, what's so, next? Alright, so that was uh, that was five cups of sourdough starter. We didn't have enough to do a full six. Um, so Take a little bit off of that and off my hands. So now um, we're going to not not the flour just yet. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to take the sugar, and again, this is a quick quick sourdough biscuits. If you had time, you'd do this the night before and let these biscuits rise without the use of extra yeast, um, and those will rise on their own. But since it's in the morning, we're trying to get these ready for everybody for breakfast. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little bit of yeast to get it started and get it going real quick. So. Recipe is just one tablespoon. We're doing a double batch, so we're going to do two. Uh, this is a teaspoon. Here's a tablespoon. One tablespoon. So. Now you just dump it in. You don't like start it in a cup or anything like that? Nope. We're starting it here in the big bowl. So, there's two tablespoons. And then we're gonna add our sugar. The sugar is gonna end up in the finished biscuit. So these biscuits are gonna be a little bit, uh, they'll be naturally sweet, uh, but they're also to help get those yeast going and that yeast will, will help eat that sugar. So um, four to five tablespoons um, of sugar per batch. So again, I'm gonna be doing a double batch. I'm actually gonna do seven <laughs> tablespoons because I think if you do full five, it's pretty sweet. I don't like it that sweet. so. We're gonna do seven tablespoons. Four. Now the idea is the sugars right. for the yeast to feed on, right? Not necessarily to make the biscuits sweet. A little bit of both. Okay. So right. they're gonna they're going to help that yeast get going uh, and wake up, and then but then they're like I said they're gonna end up in the finished biscuit at the end of the at the end of everything. So at that point, just give it a little stir. Uh, here in a little bit, I'll uh, I'll just do this because the spoon is already dirty, and you'll see it's all getting mixed in. And the beauty of these, this sourdough is it's very hard to mess up. It's a very easy thing to bake with. Uh, it's pretty forgiving and uh, really easy to make. Really good, good stuff. So. At that point, I'm just gonna let that sit for just a minute. Um, right, back again. So what do we got going on now? So see the bubbles in here, Will? Get a good shot of that. So it's starting to activate. The yeast is activating now, right? You can kinda, it's got a little bit of a sour smell to it, right? Yep, so. yeah, so we let that sit for just a, just a mm -hmm. minute or two, um, and we let that yeast uh, get going. So at this point, now we're going to, while it's still kind of liquidy, before we start stirring in the flour, we're going to add our oil, salt, and baking powder. So what are we doing? Uh, vegetable oil. Yep, third of a cup. Yep. You want me to do that? We're gonna do two thirds of a cup for this batch. Two thirds, okay. Yeah. So two of those. All right, so two thirds of a cup of oil, then what about salt? So the salt is going to be four teaspoons of salt. So we're gonna make this bed. We got a lot of people we're trying to feed, so just uh... How many people we got? Yeah, how much is this gonna make? Uh, this, uh, to be honest, I haven't done a double batch, so, uh, it depends on the cutter. How much does a single batch make? A single batch things? will make, um, 12 to 16, uh, kind of three to four inch biscuits. So double it's, it's a good, it's a good, it's a 24 to, yeah, 24. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and we got what? So we're we're doing two we're doing four teaspoons of salt, right? You got kosher four, kosher salt there. Yeah, right? any any salt works. Um, that's okay. just what we got today. Okay. And then we're gonna add in the baking powder. So this will help help the biscuits rise uh, and give it a really nice fluffy biscuit. Okay. I don't even know. So you were saying earlier before we turned off was that uh, you oh yeah there's hardly any left in here. Um, 
you like you add the sugar because you like a little bit of the sweeter than than the like true cowboy yeah I've, trail. I've done a batch where it's just sourdough flour water and they're pretty hearty and uh not a uh, 21st century biscuit that's for sure so we'll we could just uh you know this is uh now you know the funny thing is Mom talked about this. Is this actually does go bad? It's got a date on it. So okay, well we yeah. just opened up a new can. So we're gonna add five tablespoons of baking powder. Now, normally you just kind of eyeball this, right? So we're yeah, trying, we're trying to approximate how much you use, right? Yeah, I've done this enough. Uh, very easy to do. And you stir this in? Yep. And then once we, we get, get that, spatula. Yeah, we, we switch to that, so. Yeah. Normally I use my hand. That's why nobody, <laughs> nobody wants to. Everybody's like, no, you need a spatula. That's why your biscuits are always looking ugly. <laughs> well, you know, ugly biscuits are the best tasting biscuits, aren't they? Hey, as long as they <laughs> taste good. So that gets all kind of mixed in and incorporated. Yep. Yeah. So this just makes it a little bit easier. To, then we start stirring in flour, um, and that'll start firming up those okay. biscuits. So what do you got? How much? Which, how much flour are you gonna go with? So we did. We did five cups of sourdough starter. So it's about one cup of flour per cup of sourdough okay. starter. Push so that in, and I'll start mixing. We're in. gonna start adding that now, and you kind of have to start eyeballing it. It all depends on temperature. How the mixture's going, all that stuff. So this is a you see when you get shut of this, so this is already starting to kind of be doughy. So I'm, I'm wondering how much is that's kind of where I was like five five cups, you know, one cup per sourdough starter is a good approximation, but about halfway to it, you kind of start eyeballing it and start and you don't wanna it. you don't wanna over stir this either, do you? No. Because it makes the biscuits tougher. So but just kind of folding this in. So there's two, but it's this is wet enough that it's probably going to take. I think it's probably going to take four. four. That's what I'm thinking too. Four or five cups. There's three. Try not to. And then we just, I guess, we'll just turn this out on the uh, counter and. Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll flour the counter, we'll turn it out, we'll roll it out, and then we'll cut it. This is probably getting close to where we can turn turn it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll add maybe a half of this, just to... So what, what did that end up being? Three and a half? Three and a half for now. And that's like I said, that's about right when you kind of want to start slowing down, adding the flour, start taking a look at how that how that, uh, that dough's forming um, before you start adding any more flour. All right, you want to put some down here and we'll turn this out. All that goodness. That was four right there. Hold off on the fifth cup. We'll see how that works for me. Hands so. clean. Yep. And just kind of what, just knead this in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't, want don't actually want to, don't want to knead it too much. All right, this um, is still, this is still getting a little wet. Yeah, just folding it over and just kind of picking up that flour on the counter and just eyeballing, seeing where uh, where that dough's at. Yeah, it's still pretty. It's still, it's get it's still kind of wet. We'll we'll add. So at this point, we're at four cups, and we'll just start sprinkling the flour onto it just to. To get it to where we want it. So you want to roll this out? Yeah. Or do we just flatten it out? So we'll, uh, you can do either or. Um, if you want really pretty biscuits, you can roll it out. Uh, I actually just do it with my hands uh, just to keep. How thick do you spread it out? Uh, I, I'll take it down to about half inch, three quarters of an inch. Okay, because they're going to rise. Because right? they're going to rise. Yeah. Um, ideally, you're going to let them rise 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and uh, they should double in size hmm. on the countertop. And then when you put them in the oven, 
uh, they should rise even a little bit more as that baking powder continues to to uh, help help the mixture rise. How's that looking? So that's that a half inch. That's looking pretty good. Um, that's about about the right kind of how I like that dough looking as well too. As far as what are you gonna put these on? You got a pan or something? Put them on. Yeah, we'll they're they're all right there. We'll uh, we'll pull that out and uh, once we start cutting this, we meaning me. You want me to put a pull? <laughs> yeah, you you pull a pan out as I continue to. Are we gonna this grease this pan or? Look at they got cookie sheets here. Work under these conditions. Working in somebody else's kitchen is tough. Yeah. At home, I like to to bake this on cast iron. I think it uh, mm. helps really uh, give a nice texture on. What are you biscuits. cutting with? Uh, so that's where we'll, uh, we'll grab a cup. About how far wide, uh, a couple inches, three inches? It's about, probably. it's about a good size. What is that? About two, three, maybe three think, inch wide? It's about two and a half to three inches. Yeah, right there. Yeah, so okay. that's about a good biscuit size. Do you need to grease the pan or anything? Or? No, these, these will pull right off. Do you want, uh, you want grease? Oh, he's got that. Oh, very nice. That's a good cast iron. Oh, there we go. Pizza. Do we need to grease it or is it still? Nope. Perfect. Just the way it is. So we're looking for these are going to, they look pretty thin, but you, they're going to rise. They're right? going to double in size on the counter and then they'll, uh, they'll, they'll rise even a little yeah. bit more in the, uh, in the oven. Did so. you get him in there too? Yeah, you can see Robert. You know who this is? Hello. This, this is Robert. <laughs> this is my nephew, Robert. So he's he's a New York City boy. He's a city I'm boy. A yuppie. He's a New York City. Robert and Nathan and William Benjamin. Those boys been thick as thieves since they were little. Hanging out. Robert's the uh, bacon man. Right. Yes. Is that just for you, Robert? Or is that for everybody? Um, might be. I'm nice. I might share. <laughs> holidays after all <laughs> where's your christmas spirit hey, so do you want the oven on still yeah oh. if you could reduce that down to 350 yeah. that would be perfect thank you preheated 350 that's going to sit on the counter how long till they double in size yep so like i said earlier that's going to take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour um that's that way you can start get your oven preheated let that go in I, I like to put the biscuits near the oven so as that oven's heating up that, that heat will help rise those biscuits. Another secret, or tip I should say, I don't know how much of a secret it is, but crowd your biscuits on the baking pan. As those biscuits rise uh, and bake, uh, crowding them on the pan actually forces them all to go up instead of out. So that's a little uh, baking secret to get your biscuits extra fluffy and get them extra tall. Nice. We actually might need another pan. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> what about all these extra? So I, I, after I'm done, do with the extra bits. After I'm done, I'll pick them up, roll them together again, and don't let any go to waste. Mm -hmm. These biscuits are good enough; you don't want any to go to waste. That's right. And again, they don't, they don't have to be pretty. Uh, this one needs more than me, and she thinks about You don't even really need to cut them out either. If, uh, you know, I sometimes I'll, uh, like, I've taken these out camping before, because again, that sourdough, it's pretty easy going. Cowboys used to take it on the trail. You know, people on the Oregon Trail used to carry it with them. Doesn't need any refrigeration, it's pretty hardy, pretty hard to kill as long as you keep feeding it. And uh, so I've taken these out and I've actually made these while out camping. And uh, they're a pretty big hit with all my friends. Yeah, you, uh, you smoked a turkey for Thanksgiving for your friends, didn't you? Like, I, I did, yeah. Like a cook, a cook of the, uh, how do you, what are you gonna just mash them, mash those together? Yep, yeah, just kind of mash them together. Roll them back out a little bit. It can uh, make sure that that dough is kind of formed again. You can tell it's. And it's a 
little bit of work, but those are the uh, extra biscuits. Yeah, those would probably be a little tougher most of the time. Yeah, that'll be your biscuit. That's my. You could just make that one big one. Is that mine? These are the good biscuits. To we used to ones. do that. Did we do that? We used to make biscuits. I had that leftover one. It was like the monster biscuit or something. What do we call that thing? I don't remember. There we go. That'll give you another good four or five biscuits right there. Okay. And you cut them and I'll put them on there. And then um, we'll let these rise for what? 20 minutes or so? Uh, 20, uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so. Okay. And then uh, we'll let them rise. We'll come back right before we uh, toss them in the oven see how they look so see how they get a good close-up on those will and see how big they look now we'll see how they look when they rise and uh we'll be right back so how long they've been rising now so they've been going for uh just over 30 minutes but they've been close to the oven so that heat's been helping them rise yeah. as you can see, see they pretty much all doubled yep. in size by so we're gonna put so. it in 350 for about 20 minutes yep 20 minutes is about time to check it uh, brush we'll, them, uh we'll, we'll brush them with butter uh a little after 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, the last five, 10 minutes of the bacon, brush the top with a little melted butter, help uh, build okay. up the top. All right, so. we'll check them uh, when they're done. All right. Be right. How long has that been total now? Uh, about 20, 22, 23 minutes now. Very nice. Basically, when they're done. So you brushed them with butter? Yep, about five minutes ago. Yeah. Nice. And Turned you can good. smell that kind of tart sourdough. Nice. Make sure we turn the smell meter on. I can smell that, right? All right. So, so we're gonna put some butter in that. We're gonna try it, all right? All right, you're right. Well, they're nice and fluffy inside, huh? You can put a little melted butter on. Yeah, them. we had a little leftover. All right. All right. We'll pick one up. Try it. To see how it is. Do you drain the oil? All right. Sourdough biscuits, huh? All right. What do you think? Good as always. Here, let me try some. Delicious. Here, you take that. Let me try. Mm, I'm going to try this bottom half here. All right, I'm starving. Mm. Mm. Like I said, a little sweetness, but not overly sweet. That's why I keep the sugar down low. And I'm wondering if that help, didn't help really activate the yeast. Get us because they're real light and fluffy. Mm, tasty. Good job, son. Wow. It's good. Thank you. All right. Well, wow. so we got for today. I'm being told that by the ravishing Mrs. Ritter standing right over there, and I'm not to reference her. <laughs> She's trying to talk. So, so I hope uh, we'll see you next time. That's uh. Cook them with the caramel and what do you? So Benjamin's a cadet. What would you be? I don't know. Well, if you were at the Air Force, you'd be the captain. You'd be an O three. I mean, I'm a Navy so lieutenant. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway. All right. So All right. Take care. We'll see you next time.